everyone and welcome back to the chronic corner i'm lauren and this episode is all about hyperadrenergic pots now this type is also known as hyperpots and it is a subtype of traditional postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome or pots more than likely if you're watching this video you know what pots is um but we wanted to make a quick clip kind of just to go over the specifics of hyperpots so that you know the difference and what to look for so first of all, what is it? This is basically when you have an increase in your adrenaline and your blood pressure upon standing. Now this can be very similar um, to traditional POTS, but it kind of has three characteristics that make it unique. And that is a decrease in blood volume and renin and aldosterone levels upon standing and an increase in norepinephrine and epinephrine levels. And then symptoms, there's kind of four main ones that go with hyperpots, and that is anxiety, tremors, orthostatic hypertension, and cold hands and feet. Now, just because you have these four doesn't mean automatically that you have hyperpots because a lot of the symptoms overlap, as I'm sure you know, in the dysautonomia community and the chronic illness community, but those are kind of the main four. And then you can also experience symptoms like fatigue, palpitations, presyncope, dizziness, syncope, increased urine output upon standing, sweating, nausea, diarrhea, bloating, and excessive stomach acid. Again, very fun symptoms, very typical in the dysautonomia community as a whole. Um, but these are kind of, you know, the, the typical ones. And then when it comes to the diagnostic process, it's very similar to traditional POTS in that it is a tilt table test. Um, that is usually one of the key diagnostic tests that are done. But you can also, they also look for a bunch of other specs. And if you want to know what those are in particular, there's a link in our description below that goes into those in depth. Um, they're a little more scientific and for the, the basis of this video, I just wanted to keep it kind of brief, but that is available down below for a more detailed explanation. And for more things dysautonomia and chronic illness, visit dinet.org. Thank you so much for watching.